My brothers and sisters, the month of mercy, something amazing about it is that Allah Almighty is not only merciful with regards to forgiveness and your supplications and the fasting being so awesome and the prayers and so on, but rather His mercy extends to the mistakes that you and I may make while we are going through the paces in the month of Ramadan. For example, مَن نَسِيَ وَهُوَ صَائِمٌ فَأَكَلَ أَوْ شَرِبَ فَلْيُتِمَّ صَوْمَهُ فَإِنَّمَا أَطْعَمَهُ اللَّهُ وَسَقَاهُ The Prophet, peace be upon him, speaks about a person who's eaten during Ramadan, during daytime, out of forgetfulness. You live on your own, or even if you don't, uh, at some point you forgot that you were fasting, you put water to your mouth, you drank a sip, you had a bit of food, you might have sat and had a whole meal, and then you realize, hey, hang on. I'm supposed to be fasting. It happens, it has happened. It will always happen. These are mistakes. Listen to the wording of the mercy of Allah. This month of mercy, and this is the beauty of the fast and the forgiveness of Allah. So, you know, those sometimes with OCD, obviously it's a problem. May Allah grant cure to all of us. But sometimes some of these narrations are so helpful that they bring a smile to the face. Listen to what the Prophet ﷺ says, Man nasiya, whoever forgets, wahu asa'im, while he, he or she is fasting, right? Whoever forgets while they are fasting. Fa'akala aw sharib. So they ate, the person he ate or he drank. Referring to she or a group or whoever else it may be. A group meaning sometimes there could be a chance. The chances are diminished the minute there is more than one person. Uh, they are smaller, but uh, there is a possibility. So, if the person eats or drinks, they should complete the fast. They should not consider it broken. They should not consider it null and void. Because, listen to what the end says. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Obviously, it's forgetfulness. You forgot completely. Slip of the mind. You ate, you drank, be it a little or a lot, a full meal or just a sip. The hadith says, فَإِنَّمَا أَطْعَمَهُ اللَّهُ وَسَقَاهُ Because indeed Allah is the one who fed him or quenched his thirst. Allah was the one who decided, I want to provide this person with some sustenance. I'm going to make them forget and they're going to have meals. And then they're going to remember once they're done that, hey, I was fasting. Now, subhanAllah, that's the mercy of Allah. There cannot be something greater than the mercy of Allah. Wallahi, it is something worth pondering over. That's why I always say any act of worship as man, we are taught to do our best. But human error will happen. You will make mistakes. I will make mistakes. Those little blunders are always forgiven and excused by Allah. You've made wudu and you did it to the best of your ability. Move on. Don't start thinking, did, uh, did this wash, did that wash, did because sometimes it can become a sickness. You can become obsessed with that. You know what? You did your best. Move on. A little bit here and there is always forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it is out of human nature, I'm a human being. I cannot know certain things because I don't have eyes behind my head and sometimes my memory might fail me. A few other things might happen to me. As a human being, I might think something is done and it's not really actually done. You know what? Allah Almighty knows best. That's what it is. So there are things like this where Allah has just let it be and said, you know what? Don't worry. You are fasting. You are not supposed to eat from morning to evening. You ate. You had a full meal. You, uh, you didn't remember, you forgot about it, we still will consider that entire fast valid. Subhanallah. Look at the prayer. You're supposed to wash yourself with water when you want to cleanse. If there is no water, you're allowed to use dust. Dust, imagine. In order to arrive at a level of purity, it's called tayammum, I can use the dirt and the dust on, on certain surfaces, right? In order to cleanse myself. And I know for a fact that I'm not cleaned with water. In fact, I know, you know what? That teaches us a lot. It's the mercy of Allah. Another point of the mercy of Allah, like you've said in the past, you're unwell, you're allowed to 
you're allowed to fast on another day. And don't even feel bad about it. It's a discount from Allah. You're unwell, you can fast on another day. You have the choice. If you are able to fast it, fast it. If you feel I'm able, but it's going to bother me, affect my fast, affect my health, sorry, because I am unwell. So marid, so as long as you're unwell, you can fast on another day. When you're traveling, the same rule applies. You can fast on another day, it's fine. Even if you've missed a few fasts, you know. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. Thank Allah for His mercy. Beautiful month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.